It's that time of the week again. Take me to your leader Tuesday. Welcome to Salazar Art Construction where we build superheroes, robots, and aliens. Today we're going to be building this guy and we're also going to be talking about mentors and emulating your mentors. Stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to use uh, one of these furry books for some, some inspiration. The alien I'm going to do today, I want it more, more animalistic. So, you know, I have these two books on furries, so... Let's see if I can get any ideas. I gave the books a quick uh, flip through just to see if there was something that stood out to me. I didn't see anything in the first book that I liked for an alien character, but in the second book it had a little bit more options. There was a turtle python hybrid, so I decided to do a turtle character and there was also a, a dragon. So I decided to give my alien some robotic dragon wings. I want to make him a little bit more techy. And I wanted to get away from the goofy retail aliens that I drew the last couple of weeks. As for the supplies for sketching, I'm using Casimir Professional Drawing Pencils. For the inking, I'll be using Calligraphy Brush Pens. For coloring, I'm going to be using Touch New and Touch 5 alcohol markers that I got from Wish. They are Copic knockoffs and they don't have the brush tip. And as for the paper, it's just regular old drawing paper from the Dollar Tree. Alright, so I want to talk about mentors. Originally, I was going to talk about goals, but I think I'll save that for next week. It was a toss-up between mentors and goals. I decided to switch it to mentors after I saw that Scott Strickland did a video also on goals. So I thought it would be good just to switch it up. And it worked in my favor because I decided to do a parody of uh, Scott's uh, intro videos. And if you don't know who Scott Circling is, you better ask somebody. Uh, I'm going to leave links below uh, so you can uh, uh, check out his channel. He also has a Comic Maker Toolkit right now. So, you know, check that out. I'll be leaving links to that. Alright, so back to mentors. I decided to do a, a parody on his intro. And uh, since I'm talking about emulating your mentors, I want to emulate. Uh, I want to emulate one of my art mentors, which uh, Scott Circle is one of them. And I do have a few more. I have a small handful, and I'll leave uh, links to their channels and to their uh, social media in the description below. Every Thursday, I go to a mentoring program called the Choose to Change Foundation. It's founded by Orlando Salinas. And his teaching has impacted my life, so I just wanted to share that. And one of the things that he teaches is that everyone should have mentors, teachers, and coaches. Now, I'm very privileged to actually know Orlando Salinas in person. You know, if I want to text him, call him, ask him a question, you know, I, I can do that. If I want to ask him for advice, I, I can do that uh, almost any time. <laughs> But you can have mentors that you know you don't know on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Now, there's people like Zig Ziglar and Jim Rohn. Now, now those two, you know, sadly they passed away years ago. But their legacy, you know, their that wisdom that they have, uh, you can find it anywhere. You can find it online. You can buy their books, listen to seminars. So the information is out there. You know, you just gotta look for it. I did mention uh, Scott Circlin. I do consider him a, a mentor of mine. You know, I, I get a lot of uh, encouragement. I get advice from him. You know, he's a uh, he's helped me grow as a not not just as an artist, but as a YouTuber. You know, following his advice, watching his videos, and I've actually had the pleasure of you know not meeting him in person, but being in uh, uh, live streams. You know, being in the chats. And interacting with him, inter interacting with uh, Joshua Campbell, Curry Kerr, also Marshall Lee. So I will be leaving their information in the description below. And there is a 48 hour art check that I do recommend. Uh, Joshua Campbell was uh, leading that conversation. It was he was talking about a habit that he he's working hard on on quitting. Uh, so I do suggest you check that out. And uh, but. You know, back to mentors. You know, who who is your mentor? Do you do you have one? Is there someone that you follow? 
And if you're a creative like me and you're looking for like-minded individuals, you know, looking for uh, you know people with that with that uh, wisdom that they can impart on you. Hey there, I recommend Scott Circlin, Joshua Campbell, Curry Kerr. You know, all these people have uh, encouraged me. I've had uh, conversations through through the comments with them. Uh, Marshall Lee, I did mention him. You know, watching his video and Scott's video uh, that they've done on doing mini comics got me wanting to do a mini comic and it was Curry Kerr who gave me that extra push that I needed to just uh, just start it just do it uh, so I did and now right now I'm working on uh, turning that little mini comic into a a digital comic and I've mentioned this before in the past couple of videos for take me to your leader Tuesday it was uh, Scott and Marshall that created this challenge uh, and I decided to take that challenge. Now, if I hadn't been following Scott for a while, you know, watching his videos, getting advice, um, I really wouldn't have given this a second thought. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done it. That's just a small example of ha why having a mentor is important. You have someone to challenge you, you know, so you can become a better person, better in your craft, better in your art. I'll be leaving many links in the description so you can check out Joshua Campbell, Curry Kerr, Marshall Lee. I also put in Russ Leach. You should check out his channel. He does some really good stuff. And oh, and also, uh, uh, can't forget Scott. Scott Circling put out this really cool Comic Maker Toolkit, which I bought, I use, and I'm using that to update my mini comic, adding some half tones. And playing with the fonts. So, and when that's done, I'll, I'll put a link on this video and and any video where I talk about comics. <laughs> and if you want to know the best places to have interactions, like I had with uh, Corey Kerr, Scott, Joshua Campbell, uh, you can check them out on the Artcasters, and that's hosted by Joshua Campbell and Scott Circlin. And there's also the 48-hour art check hosted by Curry Kerr and Joshua Campbell. And Marshall Lee does a early bird vlog on Sunday mornings. So sometimes I catch it, sometimes I don't. Usually I'm, I'm on my way to church. So I thought that was pretty cool. And in case you're wondering, I didn't really change the name of this channel to Salazar Art Construction. That was a parody on Scott's intros for Cirqueworks Art Lab. Even the uh, tagline, uh, I modified it. So what do you think of the intro? I had fun editing it. I had fun uh, making it look a little bit retro, a little bit sci-fi. You know, I added a, uh, a TV uh, effect on it. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Back to my alien. This is an alien turtle. And that's a horn on his snout. It's not a a turned up nose. I gave him some metal dragon wings or just you know giant bat wings. And that's the harness around his chest that operates the wings and you know flight mode. And I gave him some blasters. And if you haven't done this challenge and you think it looks fun, you know you can join in next Tuesday or any Tuesday. That's the beauty of this challenge. It doesn't have to be a specific uh, time and date except Tuesday that's the only rule you know, and you just draw an alien you know that that's it I'll just play some music and I'll see you at the end of this video
that's my alien for Take Me to Your Leader Tuesday. The uh, alien space turtle. So, what do you think? If you like this content, you want to see more like it, you know, hey, go ahead and subscribe. No one's stopping you. It really helps this channel grow. Every little bit counts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, tip your waitress. And I am out of here.